Geneviève Guilbeault was making her excuses today. In the middle of a road safety campaign, the transport minister was caught not wearing her seatbelt. A series of photos were posted to social media and gathered by Le Journal de Montréal. Amanda Klein reports. Le Journal de Montréal gathered five photos it claims were taken over a three-year period. In some of them, Guilbeault is driving. In others, she's the passenger. In all of them, she's not wearing a seatbelt. I want to apologize for the pictures that were uh, on the front page of a newspaper today. Obviously, I forgot to wear my safety belt uh, a few times. It's dangerous to drive sans ceinture, là. première chose. First of all, it's dangerous, he says. Second, especially as the transport minister, she should be setting an example. Not only that, wearing your seatbelt is the law. And people we spoke to agree. It's not a good example, she says. She should be setting a better one for everyone's safety. She should be very, very uh, sorry about it and uh, not, not do it again. You know, nobody's above the, the law. Guilbeault says she usually remembers to put it on, but says politicians, like people, aren't perfect. And in this case, she wasn't. I want to remind everyone that it is so easy to forget whether it's safety belt, whether it's speed limits on roads, distraction of any kind. So we have to be very careful, make sure to respect all the rules of the Code de la Sécurité routière. According to the SAAQ, while 90 percent of people do wear their seatbelts, some people still need reminding. It estimates that every year, roughly 30 percent of those who die in car crashes weren't wearing a seatbelt. Not wearing one could cost you up to $100 and three demerit points, a risk drivers we spoke to don't take. I do wear my seatbelt, absolutely wear my seatbelt all the time, but got to be honest, sometimes I start to drive and then I put it on. Just last week, Guilbeault presented Quebec's new road safety plan that focuses on school zones, something she says Quebecers should be especially mindful of now with students back at school. Amanda Klein, CTV News.